here because I think it's important for kids to get the education they need and if they don't get it from safe places they'll get it from somewhere else. I asked students um, how are people in your age group using technology to learn about sex and sexual health? Um, and I have their quotes, so this is what they're saying, not me. Pornhub, Snapchat, Netflix, RedTube, again, another porn site, um, Urban Dictionary, American Pie, Tumblr, Instagram, Horny.com, which is not a website. I'm here because I think we absolutely need to keep our new curriculum. I'm a very new teacher and I was working with a grade 7 class this year. And just being able to talk to my students and have them share with me what they thought about consent, what they still had questions about, and having a really open and positive, safe learning space was so important. And I take my lead from the curriculum and I, I'm learning from it and it's helping me learn more. And I think we just need to keep broadening our understandings and going back to an old curriculum will not do that. Can we ask every single person in the city, are you in favor of love and tolerance? Or are you in favor of hate and exclusion? So I'm here because I work in social services with people who are homeless or at risk of homelessness. Uh, I've worked with uh, women who've experienced sexual violence. More and more what I understand is that these issues are endemic in our society and very under addressed and mostly what this curriculum will do, apart from the acknowledgement of basic human rights of all people, regardless of their gender identity or expression, will also cover consent and negotiating boundaries and maintaining boundaries and these are things that we don't talk about often enough and certainly parents don't feel always comfortable talking about in their homes. We need to have more conversations around these issues, not fewer. And the reversion to the 1998 curriculum seems like a huge step backwards for our society. And it makes me really upset. My body, my choice! My body, my choice! Your body, your choice! Your body, your choice! Keeping the updated sex ed <laughs> curriculum is really important to me because I was sexually assaulted as a child and didn't realize it until like 15 years later and I just want to help other kids kind of avoid that kind of situation and maybe break the silence around the issue. There is a link between childhood sexual assault, between children who are abused and suicide. More than a third of people who are assaulted as children attempt or commit suicide. More than two-thirds of people in prison for low-level drug crimes were assaulted as children. And we are right now talking about taking away, teaching children the language, teaching children about consent and about their rights to bodily autonomy and about their rights as people to making sure that they do not get assaulted. And that is unacceptable. I was, I'm going to use the word educated, but we're going to put that in quotes, uh, <laughs> under the old curriculum. And I didn't learn all the things that you need to engage in healthy relationships. You don't get taught how to create boundaries. You don't get taught about bodily autonomy. And I think it's really important that we teach young people these skills. We know that there can be a better Ontario, and we can do better for our children.